Before we move on to the Falcons, my four takeaways from what's been an improbable and amazing first half of the season for the Saints. At number four, the quiet superstar. That's Mike Thomas. And somehow his unbelievable season has almost slid under the radar. Because in the first four games, Alvin Kamara was the NFL's MVP. Then Kamara got hurt and Teddy was the rage. Then Latavius Murray stole the show with a superhuman workload. And then Drew Brees came back. And through all of that, Mike Thomas just kept plugging away. These are the most catches in a season in NFL history. Notice Thomas had the fifth best year ever last year, and right now he has 73 catches, which puts him on pace for the best year ever. My first half MVPs on offense, Ryan Ramchek and Teron Armstead, have been brilliant. Together, call them Armcheck or Ramstead. The Saints are tied for fourth in the NFL in sacks allowed because the offensive line has stayed healthy. Ramchek, Warford, McCoy, Armstead, and Pete have all played at least 93% of the Saints' offensive snaps. And two games in particular I thought were amazing from the Saints' two tackles. Shaq Barrett of the Bucks was the NFC's defensive player of the month for September and Khalil Mack is a three-time first team all pro both of those guys bounce from side to side and both of those guys were completely shut down by Ramchek and Armstead in fact on the season Ryan Ramchek has given up zero sacks Teron Armstead has given up zero sacks in those same games Cam Jordan was so much better and more productive than Barrett or Mack he is my defensive MVP and no number really tells the story of Cam Jordan. He does have eight sacks in eight games. That's seventh best in the league. But the eyeball test will tell you he's been even better than that. Often double teamed. Always a chaos creating disruptive force behind only, I think, the city champ. Cam Jordan is the second best defensive player in Saints history, and he is having a great season. And my number one takeaway from the first half has to be the rebirth of Teddy. When Drew Brees went down, we ran a poll. Who should start at quarterback, Teddy Bridgewater or Taysom Hill? Only 17% voted for Bridgewater. Confidence in him was low, except for Sean Payton. Bridgewater protected the ball. He made plays in crunch time, and the Saints went 5-0 and when he was the Saints starter. In Sunday's win over the Cardinals, when he did the chop on the Jumbotron, Saints fans chanted his name from 17% to local hero in six weeks he did it with his play and he did it with his personality and his rise is my number one takeaway from the first eight games